Welcome back, everyone. Leno Cheetah with us from the Humane Society of Central Oregon. And you brought with us someone kind of special, but someone kind of right out of surgery, surgery. from today. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is Blueberry. And um, Blueberry, Blueberry still has a little bit of drugs on board, and the bright lights are, oh, are a little yeah. shocking. I bet. Oh, uh, hi. But Blueberry is the sweetest cat. Uh, yeah. Kind of, for those familiar with cat breeds, um, very much looks like and kind of even acts like a Russian blue. Certainly. Very dense coat, very yeah. super soft, and, um, <laughs> so, and uh, I'm so glad and, you're so good and, at this. <laughs> and uses and uses his paws a lot. Yeah, um, we'll see if he'll settle down. But um, he um, had came in with quite the rough start. Yeah. Um, he was part of a community cat colony, mm -hmm. and the caretaker of the colony noticed that he was not using his front left leg. Ah. gave us a call. And we were able to um, bring him in, and um, and um, oh, do you want me to cover up your eyes anyway? And uh, we actually had so many amputations on deck that um, oh, we couldn't actually address his his injury right away. <laughs> um, but uh, oh, his, he's um, trying his, yeah, he's trying everything. You, if, yeah, you can cover his, his eyes. If left, you think that'll um, make him better. His left um, front leg had severe fractures mm -hmm. of both of the bones in the forearm, yeah. and um, fortunately, our um, veterinarian um, thought, well, let's try splinting it. And splinting the um, leg um, can be difficult, and to keep that splint on, we were able to send Blueberry off into a foster home, oh. and for five weeks, they did such amazing care. How do you even do that? Oh my gosh, and you do have. <laughs> Some x-ray photos. Let's put that yeah. up while you continue yeah. to explain about yeah, the care so, um, that yeah. got. So yeah, both bones in the front oh, um, forearm were fractured. Oh. Uh. And our veterinarian team are amazing. They were able to put it back, back wow. in place wow. and to splint um, the arm. And most importantly, the foster home was able to provide the care needed so that the leg could heal. Wow. And super great news right now. No pain management meds needed. Um, he's doing great. He's doing fine. He'll do fine once he's in the yeah. home. And he's calmed right down. Yeah, was it, I think he's a little catatonic. No, anyway. <laughs> and again, Hi, seven sweetie. months old. Seven, seven months, months old. You have got to feel this coat. Yeah, it's he like really mink. is. Yeah, so, <laughs> it is. So and sweet. the foster home really wanted to adopt him because he was such an amazing cat, but they were traveling, yeah. and so they didn't feel like it was a really good time. Probably well, not. Um, there is someone out there for sure who, oh, yeah. who so will take care. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah oh. come on down, meet Blueberry. And we've actually got some really sweet um, animals right now. We were pretty empty, and we are we quickly filled up. So okay. come on down. Just in time for the holidays. Right. And thank you, Lynn. And if you want to adopt Sweet Blueberry, just head to the Humane Society of Central Oregon. Open 10 to 530, Tuesday through Saturday. And as always, a big thanks to our Forever Friends sponsor. That's Brookswood Animal Clinic. They're the ones who give us the resources to find forever homes for adorable animals, just like Blueberry here. We do it every Wednesday right here on Central Oregon Daily News.